Elastima, Cherry Chocolate Rain, and The Bridal Bot. Hey everybody, I'm Tony Masillis. This is Irregularly Scheduled Programming. Well, you might remember Mike Jones. He's that male escort who outed the evangelical Reverend Ted Haggard. Well, he's back again, and now he claims that Idaho Senator Larry Craig was also one of his customers. Did he pay you for sex? Yes, yes. Yes, I was escorting at that time. Yes. How much? Pay me $200. He gave you how much? $200. Now, staff members for Senator Craig said it isn't true and that Mike Jones is just trying to sell his book. Now, this all begs the question, is there only one male escort? Idaho, Colorado, man, this guy gets around. What do these results mean? Is this young woman lying? Well, I don't think that she might, she's lying. Well, she would be Miss Puerto Rico, Ingrid Marie Rivera. Two weeks ago, she won the Puerto Rico Universe pageant despite claims of sabotage. She said her dress and makeup had been covered in pepper spray, causing her to break out in hives. But an investigation has turned up nothing so far. The dress was tested and reportedly has no signs of that pepper spray. Pageant organizers are supporting Miss Puerto Rico, but if she lied, she could be charged with a felony. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Tay. Tay Zonday is getting his 16th minute, it seems. Cherry Chocolate Rain is a lot slicker than his original hit video. That's because it's really a commercial for Dr. Pepper. And the haters are out in full force on YouTube, calling him a sellout for turning away from his themes of social justice. You know, guys, it's YouTube, not UNICEF. Our beautiful new couple would like to share their first dance. So the hot new trend in wedding planning is choreographing the first dance. Now some people do ballroom like a waltz or maybe a foxtrot. Not this couple. They went for something a, a bit more modern. The robot. Hey, check out our blog for links to everything that we talked about today. That's cbsnews.com slash ISP. Get back to work. He moves his mouth away from the mic so he can breathe.